Zento is an impactful campaign launched with the mission to inspire, educate and equip the youth with essential tools and information concerning mental health as well as sexual and reproductive health and economic empowerment. Well, the vibrant energy of Jiggy Zinto is empowered and amplified through a collaboration with talented South African artists, including K-Mat, D. Koala and Bushle, who create a compelling song that embodies the campaign spirit at large. So on that note, D. Koala, known for powerful storytelling through rap, serves as both a performer and a spokesperson, bridging the gap both between art and, of course, that impactful message. We're also joined by rapper, um, by um, the um, Jiggy Zinto organizer, Lebo Lich. Um, they both joined us here this morning to chat further. Good morning to the both of you, and thank you for Hello. your time. Hello. At this hour. Morning. Awesome. Lebo, let me start with you, the inspiration behind this and the essence of what you're trying to encompass um, through this empowerment initiative. You know, not to be a downer early in the morning, but, you know, research, and I'm sure you've seen the statistics yes. of youth unemployment. We've got rising HIV and AIDS numbers, teen pregnancy. It just seems like a dire time for yes. the youth. And we really were interested in finding out what is driving this, what is, what is driving these numbers, the rise. And it just feels like we are met by a generation that is feeling a bit despondent, feeling a little bit hopeless. You know, there's so much out there. South Africa is lucky enough to be quite resourced. We have like one of the largest condom distribution programs in the world, but some of the lowest uptake, right? So yes. it's the challenge is not the resources, right? So when we spoke to young people, as I said, they're like, we're despondent, but we also don't know where, how, when. The road is a little bit murky. It used to be the internet, not libraries, social media, how do I know where to go and how to start, right? Mm. So Jiggy Zinto wants to be that bridge, right? A bridge that inspires hope, but also then starts to kind of guide them and um, encourage them or connect them with a path that's going to get them to where they want to be in their lives. Mm. And speaking about that bridge, speaking to the necessary target audience, understanding their plight mm. and what's important to them. Dee, I mean, you serve as a spokesperson. You're also offering um, your, your services through your music, your, yeah. um, your, your, your um, impactness, imp impactfulness on that front. What, why the decision to get involved and, and how personal has it been for you? Um, honestly, I just, I like being part of anything that has to do with the youth as I am just only 26. Sure. Um, I wish things like this were there when I started doing uh, music, mm -hmm. uh, even just being in the creative space can mm -hmm. be kind of tough. Because it, I think the thing is people expect you to be in a certain way and because once you're on the camera, you need to be on point, perfect. There's people looking up to you. There's kids looking at you, wanting to be like you, you know. And I think I like how I started my career based on just being very real with people out there. I mean, it started from small things like doing live videos and just being put, putting the camera in front of my face, yes. and that takes a lot. And I'm just happy that I'm a bubbly person and I like the camera. <laughs> but, but like, honest, to be honest, um, it takes a lot to have a, a lot of comments of people just saying how they feel about you just saying one word or two words or just yes. a certain thing. 100%. So I feel like this is such a great initiative, honestly, because there's a lot of kids that think they need certain tools that we have now to get to where they want to be or mm. to be that um, personality or influencer or or rapper, you know, they mm. think I, I need to be like D or I need to have this kind of phone or this kind of camera. So I'm not going to start now because I don't have those things. And I like the fact that Jake Zindo meets you where you are, not halfway, not you meet them, but they meet you where you are yes. and they help you with whatever initiative that you want to, to take. And I think we need that education of what we need to do and we need to take educating our youth very seriously. Absolutely. And that capacity building is very, very important. Yeah. Um, that songwriting process that you would have undergone, <laughs> how did you get in the zone? I mean, that's something you want to be timeless and everlasting, yeah. right? To impact the youth at launch. I mean, making music to other people always seems like, ah, this is easy, ah. No. She made it look so easy. But this is the thing, hey. I really love what I do. Mm. So I really get excited to work in my craft and to always challenge myself. So I'm a rapper, of course, I do hip hop. But when we got into the studio with Atmos and k -Mat and Mutley and them, we had some Afrobeat kind of, I'm a piano vibes. And I like a challenge and I think within, we had two days of, one day was recording, the second day was hearing how the final, uh, the final recording session sound. Yes. So I think within 10 minutes, I had already written like, six bars or eight bars of of a verse and wow. 
I mean, I don't write at home, I write in the studio. So mm. the moment I heard the beat that we chose, and then I was like, okay, we can... We can, can work with this. Yeah, because some things that come with the concept already are easier to put into words and, and mm. have a storytelling about them. Because sometimes when I make music, if I'm making my song, I have to start the concept myself. No, right? absolutely. But then the concept has, is there, and if you understand what the concept is, you can bring, bring it to your own words and to your own... Um, where you see things. So that's how I kind of maneuver. They were actually wanted to bring that, that mandate. I mean, what would the brief have been for um, the artists? But bringing in came Man Bushle, um, Di Koala, talk to us about how that, that also came to be, the influence that they also garnered through this um, project and initiative. 100%. I mean, I'm, I'm, th I'm just thinking back as Dee's sharing the experience. <laughs> We did this in one day. Yeah, one day. <laughs> oh my gosh, how insane is that? But the mandate was, we want an anthem for this nation, mm. right? We want um, to produce something that somebody's going to have at the top of their playlist. Mm. When I wake up in the morning, it's my time now, yeah. is the first song that gets me out of bed. So, I mean, D, Bushe, KMAT are doing different things in the same industry. They're such different characters, but they come together so beautifully. And I think they represent that you can be 100% you yes. and fit with people that are completely different to you. Instead Absolutely. of us all trying to be the same, you don't, as you were just saying, yeah. right? If, I'm, if D has a camera and this and this and this, it means I can't even get started. Right? Mm -hmm. Dee is a champion for start where you are. Yes. <laughs> she is the, the poster person for be yourself and true to yourself. You don't have to change. Yeah. And that's what we want this song to remind you in every bar, every lyric, every verse. Mm. It's all on you. A, a snowflake becomes an avalanche because right. it keeps yes. going down the, the hill. Yes. Um, the future plans of Jiggy Zinto, so just the sustainability of it and really what else pe people can expect um, you know, for its longevity. What's that strategy also at large? So we really want to be a brand that co-creates with young people, right? In the same way that we've created this song yes. um, with D, we have a couple of other initiatives that are coming. We've got a TV series that's coming. Right. And the purpose of the TV series is to model the positive behavior that we want young people to undertake. If I see you and I'm like, oh, wait, she's a little bit like me. Maybe, look, we're wearing the, the same, same colors. I, I got the memo. <laughs> 100%. So I'm like, maybe this is somebody who I should watch mm. to get to where I need to go. But we um, are active on social media. We're active on platforms where young people are so that we can stay in conversation with them. We mm. want to connect you with services around economic empowerment. Mm. What does that look like to you? If we're building a CV builder, should it be on the website or should it be a WhatsApp mm. CV? builder mm. like I don't have data I've got free whatsapp bundles so yeah. I want to see the what I want to see it in whatsapp, WhatsApp. Zinto, I want to do a tiktok challenge yeah, about yeah. getting tested for STIs right? Zinto, I want you so really we are a youth-led brand mm. and we want to meet them exactly where they are you don't have to come to us we're going to come there and help you craft it Mm. in your own time and your own space. The conversations continue, right? <laughs> this was a conversation starter. 100%. Plenty more to come. Thank you to the both of you for joining us oh, and for, you for taking your us. time to give back. Um, obviously, it's, we, we're empowered and it's about giving back and ensuring that the future is also secured. So um, this morning, rapper D. Koala, um, as uh, well as um, Jiggy Zento event organizer, Lebo Lich, joined us this morning to chat about the importance of really having such campaigns, such in initiatives, particularly targeted at youth and uh, the longevity of it um, as they look to sustain it further.